International Brangus Breeders Association. My name is Garrett Thomas and I'm the Director of Member Relations and International Promotion. And with me today I have Mr. Ben Spitzer, the Marketing Programs Director. Ben, as you get out on the road and you talk to some of our commercial uh, producers, folks that are using Brangus Bulls, I'm sure you get lots of questions about EPDs. Tell us about some of the things that you're hearing and, and maybe some uh, just some brief explanations of what you know how we can use EPDs both as commercial producers and seed stock producers. Sure. Um, EPDs are, are a great tool for us to use and, and great tool for our, our, our custom, commercial customers to use as well. Um, you know, we look at uh, varying degrees of selection accuracy, as I like to call it. Is, you know, the first, the, the least accurate is visual appraisal and, and we're looking at a, at a bull and thinking I know what, he can, what his calves will produce. Um, then we add in, uh, as we step up and get a little bit more accurate, we get actual weights. Once we make adjusted weights to where we uh, make adjustments for maybe the age of dam or his age within that contemporary group, mm -hmm. you know, we either add or subtract pounds depending on how he matches up with the rest of his contemporaries. So we set them at a, at a constant date mm -hmm. um, so we can make some comparisons that way. And that gives us ratios. Then we take ratios and build those into EPDs uh, where his, all his ancestors, their data, uh, are put in there as well as his own data. Are put in there. So uh, the EPD actually it incorporates ratios and, and the weights that, that build those ratios as well. So making selection on, on an EPD and a weight is really you know double accounting basically. Right. That's good. Why don't you tell us a little bit about we talk about the, the birth weight EPD. Tell us tell us exactly what that means. Say I, I've got a bull I'm trying to make a decision between that has a, a plus three on his birth weight EPD, and I've got another bull that's, uh, let's say, a negative two. What do, what are those things? What does that? What exactly does that mean? How does that apply to what myself, or how, how does that apply to the commercial producer? Sure, an EPD really, it, an, an individual's EPD means nothing unless you're comparing it either to the breed average or to another animal. So if I'm looking at two bulls that are one's a plus three birth weight and one's a negative two birth weight. I would expect those bulls bred to the same cows in the same conditions. I would expect the bull that has a negative two birth weight to be five pounds lighter on average uh, across the board on those cows than the bull with a, pl a plus three. So I'm, it, it's it's pretty it's fairly simple. Uh, a lot of people want to put a, a lot more sure make it a whole lot more voodoo than it really is. Sure, but uh, it's pretty simple. You just you're looking at two individuals, and that's that's the beauty of EPDs. I can look at uh, across contemporary groups uh, and across herds on those bulls. So uh, if I'm, I'm looking at a bull in, in Texas and I'm looking at another bull in Florida, I can make comparisons on those even though uh, they're raised in totally different uh, programs and different environments. So.